Hello everyone, welcome to another Alpha Console tutorial. In this video we shall cover the new update which allows for new ways to do animated decals. Uh, what you see on screen, is, this isn't the original way um, of replacing the files for specific animated decals. This is something which the old Alpha Console program used to have, uh, which uses diffuse layers. So now you can create any animation you want, any effect you want, um, as long as you can do image sequencing and use uh, image editors, you can create whatever you like. Before we get into this, I will I will say now that the this is done off of um, there are new parameters in the JSON file. So if YouTube allows me, because YouTube is very shit for allowing links in uh, in the description. Uh, but if YouTube allows me, I will leave a link for the files from this tutorial, um, which will be the whole image sequence uh, for the, this Octane and the Fennec, which I will do, uh, and also the JSON file. Um, so you guys can copy and paste and you can see uh, exactly how this works. So let's get into it. So how do we make these uh, these new animated decals? Well, this is all done on diffuse layers, so there's no need to worry about getting parameters or using uh, using specific coloring. Uh, this is just standard decal making. What you're doing is making basically an image sequence uh, for individual frames on the for the animation. So what we'll need is not this. Well, you will need this. Uh, this is the diffuse layer for the Fennec, uh, which you can see here. It's not that clear because I've altered the opacity. Um, but yeah, you'll need a diffuse layer so you know uh, where you're placing your decals. If you don't know, if you can't get the diffuse layers, uh, what you can do is join the Rocket League skins server. Um, and let me do it off screen quickly. Where is it? Database, database, database. Uh, you can do this by either going onto their Twitter. Uh, Rocket League skins have their own Twitter. Or if you Google it, I think it's the first or second search that comes up for Google. Um, but yeah, if you go to their database and then the full drive, it will take you to a Google Drive link. And yeah, that will be that will be the uh, everything in there that you need. Well, mostly everything in there, I should say, mostly everything in there that you need. So, once you have your diffuse layers, sorry, your diffuse layer, um, you need to know how to use it. There are plenty of tutorials, and I think I've done a few myself on how these work. But just to quickly go over it now. Um, obviously here is the Fennec car itself, so you've got the, what's this, this is the left side body, here's the hood, right side body, and here is the, uh, the roof, and rear bumper, fender, whatever you like to call it, side skirts. You will know this simply by doing decals. Um, the more you use a diffuse layer, the more you get to know where parts are. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing purely on the roof of the Fennec. Um, so let's get into making this. What I need is first thing is the logo. I'm using the Alpha Console logo. We'll just be using this for this uh, this tutorial. And I'm going to quickly go through pretty much decal making itself. Um, I suggest if you don't know how to make decals, find an image editor that you like. I'm using GIMP. You can use whatever you want. Um, and look up tutorials on basically how to use it. The more you get used to the program itself, the easier it will be. So first thing, I don't need the uh, image this big, so I'm going to reduce it. Uh, let's say mm, something like that. So I'll transform that. And I'll put it in the top right corner, well, technically top left, as we look at it, um, of the roof. Now, uh, I've said it before. 
but the way this new animation works is you're building frames of the animation. So this is going to be our very first frame. I don't want a diffuse shown. What I want is a black background, purely because that will make the car black. And I've got the image where I want it. So I'm going to save this. Uh, as you can see here, I've already attempted this. This is purely because the recording before, um, I was using a different car and I found issues with it, which has been reported and hopefully fixed. So we shall start again. Um, you, what you want to do is save this um, in your decal textures. I have its own folder. I've called it static animations because that's how it's working. It's using uh, images to make the animation rather than how the animated decals work, which is by replacing files in game. Um, so I'll save it in Fennec and I shall call this Fen Zero. Save. Now, if I show the diffuse again for the uh, for the car, I'm going to move our image, our logo, into the next position for the next frame. So I'll move it. Let's say here. Now I'm going to save it again. I don't want the car diffuse shown. Export as. So we've saved as zero. I'm now going to get rid of the zero and put a one. And now we build the next frame. And let's move this down to here. Uh, this is number two. So we're going in order zero, one, two, three, four, however many frames you need. And as you can see, let's put that there. This is uh, looking a bit like a DVD logo. <laughs> Done that. Let's make this bounce here. So for this uh, this tutorial, we won't go too far with these. Uh, we'll just make a simple pass up to this next bounce and then we'll just let it reset. So number five. And we'll put this here and we shall finish here. So then six. So if we go to our folder where we've saved uh, all of our images, if I open it up and go through them here, you can see the logo moving. If I use the arrow keys, there you go, going back. This is the start and this is where it bounces around. And that is how you make the animation. It's literally uh, image sequencing uh, of the diffuse layers and all your logos and everything. So. Here's a JSON file. Again, we've got the uh, original Octane. Well, not the original one, but my original Octane shown at the start and a pre-built one for the Fennec. So the diffuse parameters um, obviously look a lot different to what a standard one would look like, which would be something like this. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, where you've got the body and then just the diffuse layer, which is just the uh, the image. Same goes for the skin. Um, these ones now point, or these ones have new parameters. Uh, the first one is base name, which refers purely to these files. And it starts at the lowest number, which here we have made zero. So it goes zero and then all the way through until however many uh, files you have until it reaches the end and then it resets back to zero. So here it will go all the way to six, reset zero and keep going through. Um, what you did, what you would notice here is I've got here in the file name fen zero, but in the JSON file itself, there is no zero or no uh, dot file format like this, uh, like the skin layer. Uh, both of those aren't needed, as long as you have um, the correct name 
for the for the image or the sequence is fine. We come down to frames. Frames refers to how many images you have in this sequence. So here, uh, if you don't know, if you if you're building a very large animation and you forget. Um, normally, it should be easy if you number them. It should be easy, so it ends in six. But we have a zero, so that'd be seven. Or simply Control A. Um, depending on how your file, uh, sorry, your folder is set up to display in here, seven items. If it doesn't show this, Control A, seven items selected. So here you want to change frames to seven. I shall save that. Uh, FPS, I will come back and I shall show you what this is in a second. Uh, skin, again, this is the skin layer or mask layer. Um, I have this already set up to my, to my mask in a different folder. So, let's equip a Fennec. It's laggy because of, uh, I've got developer mode on. And Fennec Endpoint. I know it's not Endpoint because it's Alpha Console, but that's what I named it in the uh, in the JSON file. Uh, and here it is. So as you can see, it's going around bouncing, and that's the animation of it. It's each image at its own time, and it just loops. Now we come on to FPS. So. FPS is the speed at which the animation works. So if I was to lower this FPS to, let's say, 5, which will save that, uh, what I do need to do is uh, actually plug in reload. Oh, can't spell. No decals. And let's just reapply. And as you can see now, it's a lot slower. But if I was to put it up to say 20, save, reload, apply, you can see it's much faster than what it was originally. So FPS is the speed of the, the animation. The higher the speed, uh, sorry, the higher the FPS, the higher the speed, the lower, the lower the FPS, the lower the speed. Now this is for standard decals. Um, you can also do this for paintable decals. Let me just get set up for that. So now I'm ready for a paintable decal. Um, these work completely differently to standard. Uh, to standard decals, which we've just made. Um, I believe I have a video on that. Uh, if I do, I'll link it. If not, um, there's one by a hurricane. I will link that instead. So what I have is I've got the diffuse shown for the Fennec, so I know where we're painting. I have my background uh, transparent 4K red, which is... Uh, for the primary color in game and here I have my new layer which I'm going to paint red and blue on um, which are for its own colors so what I'm going to do is paint a red box on the roof I'm going to make a new layer and on this layer we're going to have blue and this is what we are going to be moving. So let me just make a quick circle and then bucket fill for the blue. So this is everything we need. I don't need the diffuse layer shown anymore, so we can get rid of that. And now we're going to come on to uh, actually saving the animation. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a new folder. Uh, let's call this, oh shit, painted. So this is where we're going to now save our decal. 
So again, this is our first frame. Export as, we want to come back out of that folder into this one, painted. And let's call this paint zero. Again, starting at the very beginning, zero. Um, when exporting these as a heads up, I know there's probably videos on this everywhere and I'll probably link to one, but make sure color values for transparency is saved. Or sorry, is ticked, rather. So we'll export that, that's frame one. We want our blue layer, so we're gonna move our blue. So let's move it to the corner over here. Export as, so we've got zero. Now we're on to one. And let's move this again. We're gonna do this quite quickly. It's two. So we have everything set up. We have all of our image sequencing done. And what we're going to do now is set this up in the JSON file. So, excuse me again. We're going to copy our previous uh, Fennec. And we're going to add a new instance of it. And let's call this AC. Well, it's not even AC, is it? Let's just call this paintable. Now, the reason we're using these specific colors and we've got the, the 4K fill here is because the way paintable decals work is that they work on the skin or the mask layer rather than the body. So now we're going to have to transfer this from the body into the skin. And the way we do that is we don't need any of this. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the uh, the comma as well. So that goes. What we're going to do is copy all of this. And paste. And now we're just going to get rid of all of this. And that, and what we will do is do a double quotation mark with nothing in between. So that means there's no body um, image needed. You, like, you won't look for anything. And I've just realized a mistake. This line isn't needed. There we go. That's what we wanted. <laughs> so this is how it should look. Uh, if, you, if you followed along with that, I apologize, just remove that line. Um, but as I said, this file will be in the uh, will be in the description or it will be somewhere for you guys to to download. So what do we need to change now? Well, we need to change the base name. The it's now in a folder called painted. So folder path in is now painted and the original is paint or oh, sorry the uh the image is paint uh frames how many do we have we have 11 items so we should change this to 11 and we should set this fps back to 10 so it's at a, a fairly seeable speed so we shall change that. Reload decals, F5. And it's now broken. What have I broken? Let's see what I've broken. And I've frozen. <laughs> so, what we've done is we've made our paintable decal. Um, during the time it took to reload everything, I realized I made a mistake on painting. Um, that's now been rectified, so the animation we did make has now changed. Um, however, everything else is the same. So, Fennec paintable. Um, obviously, we didn't set 
a color for the windows, but that's not needed for this uh, for this tutorial. So, uh, well, now you can see that everything in game can be changed. So we can make this yellow. We can make this whatever we want, blue, um, glossy. If we want something like dino. Um, I don't know what's a good comparison for this. There we go, obsidian. And that's how you do painted. Um, and what we can do is for the windows. Um, uh, this isn't really again. This isn't really a uh, tutorial one on. on um, Decal making, but if you wanted to, you'll find the windows, which on the Fenica here, this black area, um, and you would paint those blue, like we did with our uh, with our circle. You paint those blue, and that'll be fine. So, as a quick example of the reason why you need to make sure your frames uh, count is correct, as you see here, I've made a quick. Uh, quick animation one through five it plays perfectly fine however if I go into my folder what you see here it starts at one but the last number is ten even though in game it is only going to five that's because our frames count is only set to five frames so if I want all frames, again, inside the folder, I've got 10, uh, 10 items. So if we set this to 10, and FPS I've set lower just so you can see the visuals of it so it's not too quick. So we'll save that. I'll just reload quickly. Now we have the correct amount of frames set. It goes 1 all the way through to 10. So it is, it's very important that you make sure you have the correct amount of frames for your animation. Something else you would have seen in this JSON file are the F1 and F2 uh, detail normal parameters. These allow for uh, paint finishes. So if we go into the game and actually select a uh, finish, it would come up something like this. So let me set this back to Matt. In here, I have already ripped a, this is the camo effect from the game. This is what it, what it looks like. And what I shall do is copy that and add it into F1. Uh, so folder is painted slash image png and I shall save just reload everything and as you can see now there is the camo now you'd be saying that you know well what's the point of ripping the decal or the camo from the game just to equip it yes you have a point but what this means is you can now create your own custom uh, effects and put them into the game. Uh, so far F1 is the only one that has worked. Um, F2 I have no idea what this is. Uh, I've tried paintable colors. Uh, I've tried textures. <coughs> Excuse me. So far nothing has worked for F2. Uh, that I could see. Uh, I'm probably missing something very obvious, but as of right now, I don't know what this does or if it's working. Um, but yes, so you can now have your own custom effects in the game. So, a quick look at the patch notes uh, for this new version. Uh, first is a message from the dev. Uh, sorry for the delay again, I'm a little stretched for time at the moment. Big things are coming, I promise. 
Um, I can confirm one of these things is big and is coming, and everyone will uh, will love this. Um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and this update is a little rushed, so if there are bugs, please report them in the AC Discord. Um, I found two, but nothing, nothing major. Uh, added support for animated decals, animated toppers, and, and sorry, antenna and toppers. Um, download example here. This is Glenn's example. Um, mine again will be down in the description below. Um, yeah, so pretty much antennas and toppers can now support this style of animation, which we've made through this tutorial. Um, change how antenna textures and toppers load. So you can now use the parameters, which are again, which have been uh, covered through this. Through this video, um, fix a bug which prevented custom cars in free play, which was the fighter jet. Um, it wouldn't load. That was as well with the custom ball decal that wouldn't load, which both are now fixed. Um, fix a missing bug which affected first time users using decals. This was if you downloaded Alpha Console for the very first time on this last. Uh, update 3.10 um, you was missing a json file that's what this refers to so um, this will now once you download alpha console now for the first time you will now have the json file um, along with, with everything uh, so you should be good for that front uh, if you need help with writing a json for the custom decals or creation of custom items at all please visit the rocket league skins uh, here's a link so um, you don't have to now google it which I think I've mentioned which I might have to edit out of this video at some point <laughs> um, so yeah so any any future videos go to the patch notes this will hopefully always be here click this boom you're in um, I'm trying to think so an update um, for JSON files for this update of Alpha Console. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be in a video or not um, by the time of release, but we shall see. As of right now, currently, the day before release <laughs> of this update, JSON files have changed slightly, or so the way it works, I should say. Before, um, in my JSON video and in my and most recently in my groups video, um, I've talked about how if you make changes to the JSON file and you have the output console menu open, nothing will take effect until you close the menu. This has now changed. Um, what I will do is, let me disable this. I wanted a nice background for you, but that is no longer the case. Um, so, now to refresh a JSON file after you make changes, you need to go F6 to open the console and you want AC plugin underscore reload decals. Once you hit enter, um, obviously you see it freeze because it has to reload. This is how you reload the JSON files now. Uh, just enable that. There we go. Um, so that's how you now reload JSON files in Alpha Console. Um, another thing. The refresh decal button in dev mode. I don't think I covered this in a video. Um, purely because I, th I think I was in hospital at the time. Um, or I was just coming out. But it wasn't really necessary it, it, for itself for a video. Um, in dev mode. If you enable dev mode for alpha console. Um, you get a refresh decal button. Again currently at the time of recording this. Which is the, literally the day before. This is now like 11 o'clock on the day before the update. Should go live. Um, this also isn't working. Uh, sorry, this only works for normal decals. This doesn't work for this sort of animation decal, this new one which we've made today. Um, to refresh this, again, if you just press F6 and then do AC plugin command here at the bottom, um, this will do the same for you. And then to apply it, just hit refresh or select it again from the drop down. Um, they're the only two issues. Again, these are the ones that I've found and reported. 
Um, if you see this part of the video, then it hasn't been fixed. Uh, if you don't see it, then I've just wasted time recording this. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um, but yes, I think that is it. But yes, that's how you make uh, new animated decals with this new uh, with this new update. It's uh, it's definitely a lot easier than overriding files and getting parameters and all of that for doing um, for the in-game decals. Um, this you can now create whatever you want with any animation you want. Um, I'm still not getting notifications for comments on the YouTube videos. I don't know why YouTube isn't giving me these notifications. So again, I apologise for missing them. Um, however, I have gone back and I've seen uh, pretty much a few of the same questions over and over. Um, the main one, which is how do I update Alpha Console? The These videos are released as soon as Alpha Console gets updated. Um, so just give it some time. Uh, it shouldn't take too long after after this video comes out that you get the update. Um, just that these are pre-recorded, so it's all it's all ready to go forward when the update goes live. Um, so just give it some time. You can always uh, reinstall it again through Backers Mod. Um, make sure you do back up in every decal that you have. Just take a copy of your decals folder, put it somewhere safe, um, just in case it gets wiped. But yeah, just just give it time. Uh, it will update by itself. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was uh, this was helpful. Any, I would say, any questions, even in the comments section. But I'll try and check back. Um, I'm hoping YouTube at some point will fix its notifications for me. Again, I don't know, and I do apologise for missing them. But yes, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you all later. Peace.